difficult to read. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniforms while I've been in here? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Oh, you mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility. The only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Paragus fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts and trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony into a thermal detonator. Do I look like some miner? Look, when I start shooting, I'm real careful who and what I shoot, even when I'm drinking. Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want, but they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion. I was sitting here for a long time. Then you showed up in your underwear and things got a lot better. The Exchange is a big crime outfit, mostly operate out of Nar Shadda. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan return to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. Well, I wasn't there, thankfully. But I heard what she was like during the Mandalorian Wars, and it sounded like she was quick to wipe out anyone who crossed her. Dark Jedi are bad enough. But when a woman falls to the dark side, you better space yourself before they catch you. Ah, no offense or anything. Look. Not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Well, the miners can't all be gone. But if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. Huh? What are you talking about? So you done interrogating me, or are we gonna work together and try to get out of this mess?
Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. The thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. No, someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here, trapped. I doubt it. All we have is communications back, for all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. <laughs> 